Hello ladies and gents and welcome to Motivated Results. What the fuck is going on with my hair? Don't ask. Today we're going to do a quick review on the Spud Inc. Eco Tricep and Lap Pulley piece of equipment. <laughs> I've done this take way too much and I had to pull it up. It's an Eco Tricep and Lap Pulley. That's what it is. Uh, what is it? Maybe it has a little bit of history so I started and opened up my own home gym. As the Hodge Chins would say, I am balls deep in powerlifting right now. I needed a very basic equipment. I'm talking about barbells, we're talking about uh, plates. Uh, squat rack, safeties, dumbbells are questionable, but that's pretty much about it. You can do most of the primary movements and find accessory movements that work very well for powerlifting in those realms. But with that, you, you're lacking a lot of vertical pulling movement unless you're focusing primarily and only using pull-ups as accessory movement. First came across this, this Spud Inc. We're gonna call it a Eco Try and Lat for the sake of this video. I first came across this product on Rogue's website when I was shopping for, for equipment and thought this was a really good option. Quite simple design, is it's basically a heavy duty wire cable on a basic pulley system. The, the pulley system attaches to a current pull-up bar that you might have in your gym and it just basically wraps around the pulley. You have to pull the cable back through in order to make sure it stays tight in there and, and that's basically a very simple design. As far as plate, you attach it on this other contraption basically that does end up using a carabiner style hook to basically add weight to the other side of the pulley um, and then the other side has another carabiner that allows you to use Use any sort of attachment you want. But it does supply you with a tricep style attachment that's very similar to what you would do with a, with a rope at a, a local gym. You guys know what the hell I'm talking about. How about the product? Quality on the product is superb. I have had no issues with the product. The only issue I can say I've had is the stitching is, you know, fraying a bit on the strap that wraps around the pull-up bar. And that I feel is primarily because as I'm putting the cable through, the cable is probably rubbing on that. And so it's fraying material a bit. That might be user error. I um, mean, it has not created any issues when it comes to using this product. Cable, the pulley, it's all very heavy duty equipment and it's supposedly rated at 550 pounds. Keep in mind, that's quite a bit of weight. What I usually tell people when they come over and use this piece of equipment is be humble coming into it. When you're going to a gym and you're using this giant contraption, the multiple pulleys allow for some, some distributing of that weight and so you're not having to carry the full load of that weight. Or when I first installed the product here in my home and I used it for the very first time, I was thinking, hey, I do X amount of weight for this tricep movement at the gym. Let me just load that much weight on it. <laughs> no, it's a big difference. Those are resting with my like, you, you guys chill? I'm gonna put you guys on blast. Because you're essentially using, you're moving the weight with just one pulley, you're essentially having to do a bit more work. So traditionally what you're gonna find is during the eccentric part of the movement, it's gonna be a lot heavier than your traditional weights are. And also because there isn't a secondary pulley or it isn't on a larger contraption, keeps the weights at a steady plane, you're also gonna be dealing with that under load. Price wise, it's not too bad. I think at the, at the moment, currently priced at about $85. That's not too bad when you're talking about adding a considerable number of movements to your home gym that you probably wouldn't unless you bought a, a larger contraption. And I, I personally think it's a good investment for anybody that has a home gym and doesn't have the ability to do any vertical pulling movements. Um, this now opens up the doors for any sort of lap movement that you can do vertically. Also any tricep movement. As you guys have seen from some of my workout videos, I have a number of attachments for this now, whether it's a straight tricep bar or a V taper tricep bar, rope attachment, and also the supply, the rope-ish thing that, that spudding supply. One thing to also note that I haven't mentioned yet, you all have to be a little bit more controlled with your movements. What do I mean by that? When you're in a gym and you're blowing out and you're just hammering out the triceps like, yeah! That doesn't look good on camera. But you're over here just flexing, just hammering it out, um, you, you don't tend to give any fuck. So the, you push and pull as hard as you can. And what ends up happening is that th these gyms have these essentially a uh, large scale contraption that you're using in order to do these movements. With this, with a one pulley style system, and because it's on one focal point that it's attached to, the weight with with the amount of, of vigor and, and craziness that you end up moving it with ends up swinging a little bit. So if you have this a little too close to the wall, you will smash the weight into the wall and then have to fix your wall. Overall though, this a great product in my opinion if you have a home gym this is something that wouldn't be bad to purchase if you're gonna already invest all the money into a home gym adding a vertical pulling movements to your routine is, is always great I love doing lap pull down tricep movements it, it opened up basically a whole new door for tricep movements. that's the review hope you guys enjoyed it if you guys like these reviews hit that like down below I'm gonna link the playlist to the plethora of other reviews I have on this channel and uh, anything that you haven't seen me review that you would like to review let me know and I will attempt to get to it see you guys next time quick review 
review on the Spud Ink. Okay, we're gonna do a quick review on the Spud Ink Eco Try and Lap Hold Down. Eco Try. Eco Try Step and Lap Hold Down. Today we're gonna do a quick review on the Spud Ink. How many times am I gonna have to do this? 